now a lot of people are not as into adult cats this time of year. What are they looking for? They're looking for kittens during kitten season. So we do have um, kittens on the adoption floor and this is one of them. This is Maxwell. He is part of a litter of six. Um, they were all named after coffee things. Um, we split them on the adoption floor into two cages so that it would be you know, easier to tell apart because there were actually two orange and white ones like Maxwell. Then there were two black and white ones and then two all black ones. So we separated them so they were easy to tell apart. Um, you know, people keep asking on social media when they visit, they're like, well, tell me more about this kitten. Well, kittens are kind of all the same. Um, there's really active ones like Maxwell. There's ones that are a little bit shyer, but you know, they kind of fall all into the same spectrum. And what I tell people, especially like during adoption interviews and things like that is like, kittens are kind of like your toddlers at home, right? You can encourage them to be certain things. You can raise them in certain ways, but ultimately, they're gonna be the, the personality and the person, or in this instance, the cat, that they, they grow into, right? You kinda just have to love them whether they're um, super active and independent or whether they're um, a little bit of a Velcro cat and wanna be on you all the time and wanna sit on your lap and stuff. You, we're not sure, we can't tell you, um, but you just kinda have to love them just the same. Um, another thing that's important to remember about kittens, and other than the fact that you know their personalities aren't really set yet, is that they're super active um, and they think everything is a toy. So making sure that you're doing you know some cat proofing and things like that, so they don't jump over and knock over you know your grandma's vase that she you know bequeathed to you or whatever. Um, and shattered into a million pieces. They also are known for a lot of late night play and things like that, pouncing on your feet. They can be super fun, but they can also be honestly like a little bit annoying, right? <laughs> um, they're, they're a good mix of, of all of those things. And it's important to remember that they do grow up into be adult cats. Um, so, um, you know, they're, they're not gonna stay kittens forever. Um, but we do have, you know, um, you know, plenty of colors and things like that to choose from. And during kitten season, it means that you know, if we don't have what you're looking for when you come in, there's always next week. <laughs> so our kitten population has been somewhat up and down this summer. Right now, what's our current population looking like? So recently they processed about 20 kittens the other day. Now some of them have received applications, um, much uh, like um, Maxwell's brother, Duncan, who's already gone to his forever home. Um, and we've been fortunate in that, you know, a lot of that population shift has come from rescues coming and pulling animals from us because they, their facilities are empty. Um, so it gives those animals an opportunity to be seen in a different way, maybe get adopted quicker, but it also allows us to provide uh, uh, more attention and care to the animals that are here in our facility and um, to allow some of the other cats that might be overlooked to kind of stand out when people are coming here and looking for those adoptables. But right now, um, we do have a fair amount of kittens that are available, um, especially if you're into the cream color. I think mean, we have eight cream colored kittens right now. Um, so if that's what you're looking for, there's plenty to choose from. Um, to see what we have available, because it is constantly changing, you might just wanna make an appointment and come in. Um, and you can do that by going to visit fcac.as.me.